if you want to do more damage, I guess, um, you can do charge it while you're in this. Do two. No, oh my god. 13,600 damage for a one dash cancel. Similar combo, with, even if you don't have a wall splat, I do two hits. And I just dash cancel after this. I can usually get an extension after that, and then you get an easy 12,000 damage for two dash cancels. That's so on. A lot of the time you're gonna be like this. A lot of the time, like, you can just re recover and get your combo that way, and then that way it's gonna be a proper reset. And now I've just gotten 11,400 damage. Just cause, you know, I like ended, pretend I've done a super long combo and he's like near the wall. I can just dash up, do some more attacks. Like because they recovered and then, uh, please don't mess it up. I've gotten 13,000 damage just cause they didn't recover once. Uh, I can dash cancel after that to get another interesting combo. So if I do two hits, armor move, this, guard break, oh, and now I get a full combo! Lovely of you to do that. You know, 12,000 damage. That's easy for me, you know, boy. You just gotta get good, you know? Oh, well, you know, that seems fine. Oh, you know, but it can also lead into, like, super easy wall splat. But, um, oh, let me just show you something real quick, guys. Ready? See, like, you know, just a normal combo, it was one dash cancel to a wall splat. Oh, 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 that, oh that's 21,000? Oh, that's, that's fine, you know, balance. Oh, and then 12,000 damage combo for a single dash cancel? That's fine. That, that's casual, you know, that's normal. Have fun with him, don't make people cry. So we can get into his combos, and I think I may have actually, like, spoiled them all while <laughs> doing it. So, his bread and butter combo, obviously, two hits, armor move, let all three hits hit, and then go into Toe Bar 2, dash cancel, two hits in the air, and then you're probably gonna get a wall splat, so you can go two hits, into the armor move, and then into Toe Bar 2, so you'll end up looking like this. And that's what you'll do on the wall. So I'll show it again, two hits, armor move, let a lot of hits hit, Toe Bar 2, dash cancel, two hits, to Bar 2, two hits, armor move, Quark 2. And you've gotten an easy 13,000 damage, and you can actually charge the Quark 2 in order to get a bit more damage at the end by holding down the button. See, he's charged. Two hits. And there we go, I've gotten 13,600 damage from one dash cancel. And as I showed before, you can actually get a very similar combo with, even if you don't have a wall splat. I do two hits. And I just dash cancel after this. I can usually get an extension after that, and then you get an easy 12,000 damage for two dash cancels. That's that's fine. That's pretty normal, you know. That, I do that all the time <laughs> with other characters. Oh, and something I want to mention about his regular um, combo is that he builds so much meter for some reason. So see, okay, I'm gonna try and say it. So I have full meter here, and I'm gonna use one dash cancel when I do a dash cancel. See, so it'll take a bit. But he builds so much meter, but by the time you've finished the combo, he has the meter back. So it practically cost him nothing. That 13,000 damage that you just took, and he's in the same position as he was when he started. Isn't that just a little bit ridiculous, developers? Like, whatever. And the same doesn't apply for his, um, black, uh, his non wall black combo, but you're getting a lot of damage for two dash cancels. Twelve thousand damage for two dash cancels. Take that any day with any other character. And obviously this isn't even the end. Um, if you want to do a combo from the air, I suggest you do something like this. And or just going up two hits into the tilt quirk one. Into that. He gets a little less damage when he's in the air, which is lucky. And something else I just want to mention with him, a lot of the time, because your combos are ending near the wall, so um, a lot of the time you're going to be like this, a lot of the time like you can just re recover and get your combo that way, and then that way it's going to be a proper reset. And now I've just gotten 11,400 damage, just because, you know, 
I like ended pretend I've done a super long combo and he's like near the wall, I can just dash up and do some more attacks. Like because they recovered and then it, he can do it so fast that there's no no frames for them to actually press any buttons. So they have to just guard a lot of time. If I do something like this. And if I'm facing a wall like I did before, I get an easy reset, huge damage combo just because they decided to recover. And this is where he gets even stronger. Because if they decide, oh, well I'm not gonna recover so you can't reset me in the air, well, he can do some he can do even bigger combos by doing something like this. Oops, I messed up. Like this. And obviously after you do it once, your opponent is going to realize, but if I do something like this... Oops, no, please don't mess it up. I've gotten 13,000 damage just because they didn't recover once. So they did one non-recovery there, and then I realized, oh, if he's not recovering, I'll just get my 13,000 damage combo. So that's super easy, and I could have made it even better if I put a plus ultra one or something in it, so if I did... Sometimes it's a bit hard to time. Oh yeah, but the point is you get a lot of damage, okay? And to rephrase why they're going to be scared of recovering is because you're doing stuff like this. Oh, he's not on recovery. Because after you do his quirk 2 in the air, even if you're not getting a combo from it, if I'm near the wall or something, and they're just around here, a lot of the time I can just reset the combo and dash at them. Especially if I'm in a certain position near the wall. So if I pretend I've done my long combo that's like, you know, what, 10,000 damage, I dash up, do this, and then I've gotten huge damage. Actually, I don't think that is going to connect. But the point is, it, it could have. And if I just did two hits, that would have been huge damage just because they decided to recover. So when they're scared of, reco of recovering, that's when you can do that 13,000 damage. It, he's really, really scary. I could have gotten a wall. Actually, I might get a wall splat here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look. Look at this, guys. Wow. Bear. Yeah, just because he decided to recover, I got this. That's fair. That's It's fine. Okay. Um. Yeah, so with his plus ultra combos, what I showed you at the beginning was real. So um, let me show you something real quick. If I do this, like, nice combo, you know, I get into the wall. I do this whole situation, I do two hits, and this is going to his plus ultra two, which you know, costs more than a plus ultra one. I believe I get 21,000 damage, which is, like, don't take that for granted, like, I'm not trying to downplay it, that is a lot of damage, like, if it was any other character, that is huge damage, and like, for one dash cancel, and a super easy combo into it, that is amazing for a plus ultra two. But what if I showed you this, again? He gets the same amount of damage using his plus ultra one. And he's in his freaking spaz mode, so he can get combos like that just instantly for one dash cancel. So <coughs> if you do that combo and use a plus ultra one at the end, you get 21,000 damage, which is almost your opponent's entire health bar, but you're also in like psycho mode where you like are super fast and do lots of damage, even though you hurt yourself a bit, it doesn't matter. So you're in psycho mode after you've done 21,000 damage, you can just go in and do a throw because they are so scared and they're dead. You've just taken their entire health bar with one combo into a throw, into a red move. And if you don't want to, if you don't want to do the red move, you can just pressure them to death, like literally. Okay, so I'm in charge mode. I'll put him onto guarding. And they're dead. If you just get touch them with anything after that combo, they are dead. It's ridiculous. I it's so crazy. And that was for one dash cancel and one plus ultra. He was able to get 21,000 damage. And similar applies for even if you don't get a wall splat. Obviously, it's a bit less. A lot of the time, if you're facing like even an invisible wall, you can cancel it after his 
Squad 2, and then you get 16,000 damage, which is still huge damage for for what it is. For like a short combo into ending it with a plus ultra one, he takes like half of your health bar. Plus, he's in his psycho crazy mode. It's ridiculous, guys. This character is ridiculous. Like, what do I even say about? It? So, if, and let me show you some of how his combos are even better when he's in crazy mode. Okay, so engaged crazy mode. You can do the same thing. Oh, full flat. And like, oh, I messed that up, but I still got 15,000 damage. Like, is this a joke? I don't know, was this an April Fool's joke? Am I missing out on something? Like, that is not even an optimal combo. I just did attack into a Quirk 2, and I got 16,000 damage. Without using a plus ultra attack. So that's just hit a regular combo for him in his Psycho mode. That was the single dash cancel, 16,000 damage. And you can get more damage if he wants to use another plus ultra on the end of that, and, and the, on that, and that. It's ridiculous. And this is why I don't even like bother running OP supports. Like, it doesn't even matter to me. Because he's OP no matter what. You have your crazy. Okay, let's go into summary mode, guys. Crazy projectiles, really good zoning. He has this projectile that's completely safe. While he's in the recovery of that, he can charge up this one, which is also safe. does a lot of damage, and has really good tracking. He has a safe armor move, which I think um, Momo and All Might are the only other characters that have one of those. He has easy combos, probably the easiest combos in the game for the amount of damage that they do. So he's huge damage for something so easy. He gets a wall splat off of practically any combo because he always ends up in quirk 2. So he gets a wall splat off of every time, so he's getting consistent 13,000 damage. And. He has the most broken plus ultra one in the game, seeing as he can get 21,000 damage off of a simple wall spat. Like, okay, I, this is a combo, I'm not even going to use any meter. I just, like, I've unfortunately caught my opponent in the air, maybe I got him with a reset or something. I'm just going to combo into my plus ultra one, and I've gotten 20,000 damage. And I'm in this mode, which makes him like the most crazy character in the game, because he gets like 16,000 damage for a single dash cancel. It's a short amount of time, but your opponent's so scared, if they think you're going in for a combo, you're gonna go in for a red attack. And in the spaz mode, it's like 7,500 damage. It... He is ridiculous, guys! And I'm gonna end the video there, because... <laughs> I'm... It hurts talking about a character this strong. What happened to all the other characters that aren't this strong? What about poor, like, I don't know, Endeavor? Why doesn't he have a 21,000 damage combo for using one plus ultra? That seems a bit unfair to me. Or, like, 20,000 just for doing a single plus ultra, no dash cancels, and then he's in spaz mode where he'll kill you instantly, like, even without spending any meter. Guys, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's. Ugh. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.